Meantime, we are forever impressed by developers who can take Detroit's derelict buildings and turn them really into something amazing. And I got to tell you, this is one of the most compelling workplaces I've ever visited. It sat unwanted for decades before a leading ad agency decided this can be our new home. Mm -hmm. When Ford Field hosted the 2006 Super Bowl, the adjacent, long-abandoned Hudson's Warehouse was supposed to be a new hotel, housing fans and dignitaries. They even carved away several floors for a big atrium. But then the project was killed, and it sat empty for another half-dozen years. First of all, we scoured the entire city. I mean, I think we looked at every building three times, you know, and we had things that we wanted. We wanted an open atmosphere. Uh, we wanted to get rid of all closed offices because we wanted to force this collaboration between the creative people. Instead of covering the scars, the concrete and the guts of the building, they embraced it, even keeping that immense hole. I'm not sure everyone could live with a giant hole in the middle of their office. Our company, on the other hand, we're seeking that ability to see the vibrancy moving from department to department, client to client. A lot of workers begin their morning in this amazing atrium for a little coffee and conversation. Today, the milk industry and U.S. Navy are visiting clients and prominently displayed on the agency's massive video wall. They wanted to have a waterfall here, but instead opted for a cascade of information. It scours Twitter, Facebook, and all social media outlets for news, especially news affecting their clients. So we're monitoring sentiment, conversation, so we can enter in the conversation, debunk myths, promote things, get involved in the conversation. Their editing rooms are digitally connected so clients can watch and comment on the commercials as they're edited. State-of-the-art connectivity allows the agency to conference, share ideas, and brainstorm with clients and creative talent anywhere on the planet. Earned my master's through the graduate education voucher program. They even use this workspace as a studio for productions. There was some initial resistance from workers who felt kind of exposed without walls or cubicles, but those impulses quickly melted away. Energy level is great. Uh, I love the, the wide openness of it. Uh, the only problem with that is you can't walk from one side of the office to the other without getting interrupted or stopped and all that. Just been really beneficial and the open spaces have been really fun. There was one major problem. It was too open. Sound echoed everywhere. It was all concrete, ceilings, floors, and it just bounced around like crazy. Smart architects with cutting edge technology used sound to defeat sound. These canisters create background noise tuned perfectly to block echo and mask unwanted noise. Sound masking is, is a background frequency noise that masks out voice. So pretty much people can sit at their workstations, which we think are quite tight, and you have to go out of your way to really listen to the person next to you. Collaborative workspaces are fine, but sometimes you need to get away from it all and have a little privacy, a conversation with a coworker. They call this one the meat locker. They basically had to manufacture privacy pods throughout this building. These recycled pallets form creative meeting spaces on every floor. And this space, a tree house, is for when you really need a private meeting. While they spend their days looking ahead, they don't disconnect from their past. Check out that ceiling. It's lined with the old printer plates from iconic Campbell Ewald ad campaigns of yesteryear. They have over 100 years of history in their, in their library. So you can look back at all the old ideas because everything old becomes new again at some point. I love everything. I love the treehouse because it's nice to get into an environment then where it's different so you're creative, but it's also not Getting boring. up there in a skirt's a challenge. Oh, it, how do you have to get up? Like a, is it a ladder? It's like a, it's like a little catwalk that you, that you go up. But it's very remote and you do feel like you can share ideas. The other thing is it was interesting. We stood outside the CEO's office. Mm -hmm. He had no wall on his back wall. It's open to that atrium. And yet, he could have a private conversation, and we couldn't hear it because they turn up the canisters a little louder. Those canisters are right cool. Right there. I wonder if they could put those in my kids' room. Wouldn't that be, <laughs> wouldn't that be great? Keep Wait, the kids quiet when you're... <laughs> i got to tell you, if you've got an area that really has a lot of echo, it does work. Huh. And uh, it's, it sounds like That's just this cool. very soft hiss, but it's mm. very, very cool.